Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how uh, Blender performs on the MacBook M1. Uh, Blender is a tool that a lot of animators use to create new animations, and so I'm going to, in this video, download a few demos and kind of show you in real time um, how long things they take to load, how long things take to render, and at the same time uh, how CPU and memory usage is as I'm doing actions. All right, so it looks like things are set up. Let's open the application now. On the top right, I have the CPUs and how much uh, each core is using. And on the bottom right, I have, uh, yeah, what percent of CPU uh, the Blender application is using. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you uh, a sense of the memory usage as well. All right, so let's go find one of the files that I've downloaded. So let's say, let's do this. Hi, my name is Amy one. And let's go ahead and uh, open that blend file and see how long it takes to open and kind of how long it takes to play the animation. So there we go. It needs access to my download folder. So there it is. Okay, looks like it needs some permission for me to run a, a .py file. Sure, let's let's give it permission. Okay, there we go. So let's try to play the sequence. So looks like there's a bunch of steps and I can play the animation. So let's play it. Okay, let's try out render animation. Let's see how long that takes. And yeah, it looks like we got this rainbow circle thing. So let's give it some time. Okay, as you can see, it took around 41 seconds to render. Okay, let's try something else now. Um, let's exit out of this and let's try to view the animation. So let's do render, let's do view, view animation. And yeah, there it is. This is, takes a few seconds, maybe five to 10 seconds to load. And yeah, there's the animation. Cool. All right, in this next part, let's open up a second blend file. Um, maybe let's look at blend two, whatever that is. So I clicked open and let's see how long that takes. Okay, there we go. So this is the second animation. Looks like it's taking some time to load the assets. And there we go. Okay, so let's just click around. Let's play the animation. Um, Okay, that's the animation. Let's do some rotating and zooming in and out. So I'm just using my touchpad right now and kind of double swiping up and down and to the up, uh, to the left, to the right. Okay, feels pretty smooth. And I don't see any lagging. Okay, cool. Okay, let's figure out how to, let's see what render animation does here. Okay. 
Okay, for this one it took 21 seconds to render this, this scene. There we go. Um, now if I try to click some other stuff um, on this screen, maybe... Yeah, there we go. It still uh, looks like it's still loading. Yeah, I can zoom in, I can like move around, but I'm not able to close this window. So I think it's still, some things are still, still running. All right, cool. I think I finally was able to close it. Let's try to uh, exit out of this Blender file. Um, yeah, it looks like it's using a ton of CPU. And there we go. Cool. So now I can actually exit. And on the last part, I'm going to render the third scene. Okay, this is the third scene. Uh, let's do some rotations. Okay. Yeah, pretty smooth. Yeah, I don't really feel any lag right now. Okay, let's click on sculpting and see what that looks like. Okay, interesting. Let's see UI editing, UV editing. Let's do shading. Uh, looks a little blurry right now. Okay, looks like it's actually loading a lot of stuff here. Well, anyway, so that's shading. Okay, let's go back to layout and let's actually try to render. So let's do render, render animation, and let's see how long this takes. All right. Ten seconds to get to this point. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know where the rest of this image is though. I'm also not too familiar with this tool, so um, it could just be an issue with setup. Um, I can't really click on any of these other buttons. It's like view, slot, render result. None of that works right now. But I can still zoom in and I can kind of move around. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to exit out of this. And oh, I can't even exit out. Oh, I can. Okay, there we go. So I'm able to exit out. And yeah, let's close the program. Um, and this last part, I just want to show you the memory usage uh, at this point. Um, it's around 5 gigs. And if I do something like um, open, let's, let me open another one. Let's go back to the second part that we were using. Uh, yeah, it takes some time to like actually close and open. Um, and once it does, there it is and let's you know play the animation and then I'm gonna go and show you what the memory usage is in a minute uh, but yeah I'm just gonna do a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna see uh, what that means for for memory all right so after that let's take a look at the memory usage um, as you can see it's using almost three gigabytes of swap swap is really slow and um, that probably means an 8 gigabyte memory machine isn't good enough for this. Um, and yeah, it's using over 6.6 .6 gigabytes of memory. Okay, and finally, you can't really see this, but my battery is now 31%. Um, it started at 35, and now it's at 31. So all of that that I showed uh, drained the battery about 4%. All right, so that's all I have to show for Blender on the M1 Mac. Again, this is the 8 gigabyte uh, base model uh, MacBook Pro. Um, yeah, anyway, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for what other content you want to see, please leave a comment. And yeah, you can support my channel by subscribing. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next time.